Do I need these? Definitely not. Could I wear a black bag instead? Definitely yes, it's not my vibe. Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to be talking, do I need to buy designer? And trust me when I say, I do not take this video lightly because one of my number one personality traits is buying luxury designer goods because it's an experience. Like, do not tell me that there is a better feeling than walking into this beautifully lit store, you browse the clean shelves with like the shiny leather and then somebody brings over a nice like cold glass of sparkling water, it has to be sparkling or it's not the same, and then you're holding that glass bottle and you're looking through the bags and you're trying them on and there's like plush carpet and then it's all amazing until you go to hit that credit card and you realize when the charge hits you. But all to say, I am here for the luxury designer experience. I love it. But at the same time, there's been a couple of moments in life where I've really come to realize designer bags don't necessarily always hit the mark. So I'm gonna walk you through, first of all, why I think you might not need to always buy designer slash why you might consider not buying designer. And then number two, if you're not gonna be buying designer, what bags you should buy instead. Number one reason why you don't always have to buy designer. What happens when you're going out on the town? There have been plenty of occasions where I've gone to a friend's house and then they're like, let's go out to the bar, to the club. And I'm like clutching my thousands of dollar bag being like, no, I cannot. So you need a couple of bags that you can just throw on party bags. Necessis necessity, necessity, second reason. You're gonna go on vacation, especially if you're a travel bug like me, you will go on vacation. So the question becomes when you go on vacation, Number one, are you gonna bring all your beautiful bags and like have to wrap them up and like put them in like, you can't put them in a checked bag, so you're gonna put them in your carry-on bag and then you're worried about like the space and like you're trying to pack, pack not too much and no, we don't stress anymore. We buy vacation bags and I have a couple of my top picks. And number three, if you're like me, you just like to jazz it up sometimes. Like, it's all great and dandy, you know, having the, a black bag. And when you're investing thousands and thousands of dollars, if you're like me, there is no way I'm going to buy a hot pink Chanel at this time of my life. So if I want to have a hot pink bag or like a neon green bag, I'm going to look at some other options because sometimes you're just wearing a boring outfit and you want something to jazz it up. And this channel is all about being extra. So of course you're going to pick the extra option and maybe not pay the full price tag. Okay, so to kick us off with our number one category, vacations, I wanted to show you a couple of my top pick bags that I'm obsessed with on bringing to vacation. That was not English. A couple of bags that I'm obsessed with to bring on vacation. It's late, in case you couldn't tell. So the number one bag that I have is this iconic little like pink clutch bag. It is, amazing. It looks like a little suitcase. It's pink and it's gold. And I love bringing this out on the resort. You will 100% guaranteed get many compliments on this bag if you bring it out. The next bag is your trusty little straw circle bag and with a little crossbody strap. Again, a staple. Yeah, you could probably bring your Chloe saddle, but this bad boy, you can toss it around. I went to Cabo with this bag, had no issues like walking the streets in crowds and like hitting it up against people, not a concern. And finally, we have two handhold held bags. This is one um, I wore a couple times in Hawaii in Turks. It's like a nice, like super chill, neutral bag for when you're just, you know, trying to find something casual to match with your outfit. And then this bag is actually just a really extra colorful bag. I bought it because I was obsessed with Emily in Paris, which I still am. And um, I thought I was gonna wear it to Paris, except I went to Paris in the fall, so we didn't end up wearing it. But I am sure the next time I go to Paris in the spring, I will bring this bag with me. So another vacation classic. Yes, it's white. Yes, it's light colored, but I'm not really going to cry a river if this gets a bit beaten up. So our next category is going out on the town. My number one bag, this was 40 bucks at Winners, 40 Canadian dollars. And it is just this little like, shoulder bag and it is sparkly and it's black and it goes with every outfit and I've worn this out 
way more times than I'm willing to admit that I've gone out. Another solid option is a white bag now that white is in right now and it just has like a gold little strap and this one I really like um because it's crossbody so I find if you know you're going to be dancing a lot or anything like that then maybe picking this bag is um more along the line just keep it clean keep it a neutral color and then you can always pick a gold chain I think it's a bit more dressy than a maybe like a leather straw. And finally, um, I cannot do a going out section without picking a sparkly glittery bag. Again, this bag, you know, you're going to a nice dinner, you're going to a gala, a formal, something along those lines. You might pick this bag um, versus like, I do have a little like Jimmy Choo all on a chain that sometimes I'll bring, but if maybe we're going out after, or maybe I just, you know, my accessories are not the same color or my dress is not the same color. I have another option, which is just not as expensive. And then I wanted to throw in a couple bags of that extra nature. So I went to Calgary Stampede last summer and I bought this bag for like $4 and I have worn this out even in the city now. Um, I just think it's so comfortable. It's a shoulder strap. It is pretty neutral in color and it fits a lot of stuff. So love this bag it is four dollars that's all i have to say i also bought this bag for stampede again i would never buy a designer bag that looked like this um as much as i'm going through a bit of a cowgirl phase i still don't think i would be investing my money in a thousands of dollar bag that is cow themed but because this was like i don't even know four dollars i bought it and this neon green bag you might be thinking, when the heck are you ever gonna wear this bag? And how many times are you ever gonna wear this bag? My answer is, it doesn't really matter. Slash, knowing me, I will probably wear this more times than you would expect. But it's neon green, it's puffy, it gives me Bottega Veneta vibes. It does not give me a Bottega Veneta price tag. And like, I'm sold and have every plan to wear it this summer. And finally, in this extra section, I wanted to show you guys this incredible bag that I picked up recently from Kate Spade. It is, so I wanted to show you guys an option where, yes, you're not spending thousands of dollars. This was not cheap per se, but I think it was a reasonable price tag where, you know, I would feel comfortable traveling with it if I really wanted, if I was going somewhere that I felt like I wanted to dress up a bit more, love this bag for, you know, just that extra element. Now, it is still a cheetah on a freaking bag with a little green bow tie. Like, in 10 years, am I going to be like, this is my tried and true bag? Probably not. And that's also why I could not justify ever spending that much money on a bag like this. But for me, a price tag of a couple hundred made a lot more sense. And so sometimes you gotta find the in-between. A lot of the bags I showed you, you know, are on the lower price tag side of the range, which is what I was going for. But at the end of the day, you can also settle for somewhere in between and um, get a super solid bag. Okay, and finally, if you are anything like me, you like to switch out your bags, you like to switch out your outfits, you never wear the same thing twice, that's a lie, but I wish. Um, so I wanna show you guys a couple of bags. So starting off with some of those more basic bags, if you will, um, I got this bag, really chill, I bought it in the States, and it's a neutral color, under the shoulder type of bag, fits a bunch, and I think it's really in right now. Um, so that was number one. The second bag I got, I have a whole video going over this bag. I will link it in the below, but this is also not a super, super cheap bag. I think it was like 500 Canadian bucks, but at the end of the day, again, not in the thousands of dollars, probably serves the same purpose as, you know, other designer bags that are going to be with the four digits versus the three. So. Um, another one that I consider a classic. Audrey is not letting me film. And then next couple of quick hits, I have a gray bag, a yellow bag, and a pink bag, all similar type of styles, cross body, but you can also hold it with one strap. Again, do I need these? Definitely not. Could I wear a black bag instead? Definitely yes. And some people may choose that that's the way that they would, they would rather go and they would rather pick like one designer black bag and stick with it, but that is not my vibe. And I got a green purse because, okay, so fun fact, I have this pair of Jimmy Choo green suede, not suede, like this type of print boots. And I 
saw this bag at the mall and I literally was like, I need this. So that's why I bought it because it matched one pair of shoes I own. And then I also have included my coach. I want to say it's a coach saddle bag, but I could be way off. It's obviously Chloe inspired. I just like it for just like the neutral color of it. The hardware is gold. I wear a lot of gold and um, subtle branding. So all in all, a win from coach in my eyes. And then finally, super simple. I have this like really fluffy Sherpa bag. Again, chill, casual. It's much bigger than a lot of the other purses I've shown you. Um, you know, YSL, I'm sure will probably fight me on this one because they have a bunch of bags this size. Um, but again, this is literally one I can toss in the back of my car, not too concerned about it. So anyways, I hope this gave you all a little bit of inspiration on where maybe you might consider saving a couple of thousand dollars um, the next time you go shopping or bag shopping or if you're looking for a bag. Don't get me wrong, my tried and true designer purchases do sit really close to my heart and I understand the material, the quality, the labor of love, the feeling is all, you know, a little bit different. But at the end of the day, I think that for me, a bag always has its own purpose and I'm somebody who likes change. I don't like wearing the same thing a bajillion times. And so for me, this is the way I can make my lifestyle a little bit more sustainable and reasonable. So anyways, would love to know your guys' thoughts below. Do you have a, first of all, number one designer bag that you must have? Or you have and number two is there a brand which you turn to for a more affordable option of bags because oh my goodness when i was going to paris i was like set on buying a pull-in bag pauline pull-in didn't end up doing it um because i found some other stuff that i like instead but apparently they are incredible but i heard they just took price so that's one brand that is kind of top of mind for me that i'd love to grab a bag from um, that's not in the thousands of dollar price range, but let me know your guys' thoughts and I will see you all very soon. Bye. <laughs>